Hey there, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk about the five Tibetan rites, or also called the five Tibetans. You might be wondering, what is it? It's basically a series of five exercises, which is a very ancient, classical, traditional form of movement, especially this specific sequence. And it is traditionally done before breathwork and before meditation to open up and prepare the body for breathwork, for good quality, deep breaths and for meditation. It's also a fantastic way to kind of energize, activate, strengthen or wake up the body in the morning or any time throughout the day since it's a very short practice. Traditionally, it's done three to 21 reps. So for every of those five exercises, you can do it either three reps or anywhere in between from there to 21. So three is quite short, but for some people, this is a great entry. And if you want it more strenuous, more advanced, so to say, in your physical capacity and also with your breath while you're doing the exercises, you can bring it all the way up to 21. In this video today, I will guide you through all five of those exercises. and We will do 10 repetitions for each one of those. Many of you asked for an explanation and follow up video of the five Tibetan rites. So here it is today, I hope you follow along and I hope you don't just use this for the physical benefits, but you also then actually use it as it's intended to sit down after to do your breath work and to do your meditation. I always recommend a daily meditation practice of at least 10 minutes. If you want guided meditations, then you can also browse the channel. There's plenty of those there and there's also many videos on, for breath work, different kinds and effects and whatever you need, it's there. We have a lot of breathwork videos. The ultimate meditation practice, in my opinion, is to always do a silent meditation. So if you have been meditating for a while, but every meditation is guided, I strongly urge you to move to a silent meditation. So you simply sit with yourself in silence, you focus on your meditation object and you do this practice for at least 10 minutes daily. That's the, that's the minimum I suggest to really get the most or get effects out of it, the desired effects out of it that you will actually feel and that will really transform your day and hopefully your life. You will notice for the breath that we use, the breath pattern for the practices, for the exercises, is quite different to what we usually use in a yoga practice, especially very different to what we use on this channel in a practice. So for example, Usually as we come into a back bend to open the front, we inhale, but in the five Tibetan rites, we want to exhale. And so this is just different. They also have their reason for it. It's just to prepare the body physically even more for the breath and to create more space for the breath because it's so specifically designed to help you breathe better and help your breath work and your meditation practice. So it might feel a little bit off in the beginning. Just try to stick to it. It also feels very different to me because majority of the time I do a different breath pattern, breath to movement connection. So I will guide you through it today and just do your best to stick to it. We will start standing. So come into a standing position. This could be on the mat, could also be on a carpet or just on the floor. And I modified this practice very slightly. So it's still very traditional but I made some slight modifications. So usually we would extend the arms out and then rotate uh, on one spot, but we just do arm swings because I like the symmetrical aspect about it. So you stand tall, grounded through the three corners of the feet and through the big toes, and then you start to swing the arms left and right. And we already, I will start counting now. So we got the first one on each side, two, three, four, five, really let the arms swing, six, stand tall, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So with the breath here, you're just breathing normal. And now we come into the areas where you start to um, use the breath in a way with the movement. So sit down to the ground, we come onto the back, we extend the legs up, 
for a little bit of a core exercise. If this is too much for you with the legs straight up, you can also bend the legs. You can also set the feet down and you can set them even further forward and down, whatever feels good for you. So on the inhale, we now reach the arms forward, lift the shoulder blades up. And on the exhale, we come down. So inhale forward, exhale down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax, bring the feet back down, rock forward. We stay in a seated position and I switch the order here of this exercise and the next one because I think it's just a better flow. It just connects nicely so you don't have to do awkward transitions. So we bring the hands behind us, kind of wide apart if you have a mat, then bring them as wide as the mat. And the feet are rather close together, closer than the hips. We lift the hips up for a reverse tabletop position. And then on the inhale, we lower the hips, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips. Inhale, lower the hips, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips. Inhale, lower the, the hips, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips. And keep on going. That's four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's meet back in the reverse tabletop and set the hips down. Very good. Cross over the ankles, roll over the knees. We are in a kneeling position, kind of like child's pose from yoga. And from here we start to scoop the tailbone under and we move into a, like a camel position almost, but we open the arms up like this to the sides to really open the front. And usually we would inhale here, but in the Tibetan rites we exhale. So as we move up and open the front, we exhale. On the inhale, we again reach the arms forward, lower the hips, curl into a ball, close the front. Exhale, open the front, lift. Inhale, round and close. That's two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. So you can imagine that three would be a bit short, twenty would be maybe a bit much for the average viewer. So I thought 10 is like a nice point in the middle. So last exercise is downward dog to upward dog. Come into a downward facing dog position and bring the feet wider apart. So this one I've been integrating a lot in my own practice and in my classes already for a few years. And so we roll through the spine into an up dog through a plank basically into up dog, engage the glutes, open the front body, but stay on the toes. And then you look straight ahead, open the collarbones, and then you come back through the spine to a down dog. So now with the breath, usually we would inhale to come forward and exhale to come back. But in the Tibetan rites, we do it the opposite. So we exhale to come forward to, to up dog, so we exhale, exhale, glutes are strong. Now inhale to move the hips up and back to down dog. That's one. Exhale to roll forward to up dog. 
inhale to roll back to down dog that's two move nice and slow with the breath exhale forward to up dog inhale back to down dog that's three keep going four Six, seven, eight. nine and ten very good walk the hands back towards the feet we just finish up in uh, standing forward fold this is not part of the traditional sequence but I like it to bring the heart rate down to slow the breath now that we opened the front of the body so much, let's also open the back. Try to keep the legs straight. We're just here for about a minute. And this practice is fantastic to do in the morning. So I hope you do the breath work. I hope you do the meditation. But even if you don't, if you just start your day with this, it's already very beneficial to open up the body and prepare your body for the day. Wake up the body, energize it. But of course, you would ideally afterwards sit and meditate for at least 10 minutes. And if you have even more time, then add some breath work before the meditation so that the order is always movement and then breath work and then meditation. So first it's asana and then pranayama and then meditation. If you need a little pick-me-up throughout the day, this is a nice one to do. You just cut it down to five repetitions, so it's a bit shorter. And then if you do it in your own time, it's also a lot faster. This is a follow-along video, so it's a bit longer. But if you do this in your own time, you, you I think, are able to do it all under five minutes. Very good. And come down to a seated position. To continue with your practice, I hope you're feeling good, you're feeling ready, you feel centered, excited, but yet strong, alert, all these wonderful qualities that you want to feel and evoke with a short, very short practice like this. Thank you so much for following along, for practicing, enjoy the rest of your practice, enjoy your meditation, and most importantly, have a fantastic day. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Much love and gratitude. Namaste.